Eight out of nine patients discontinued their antidiarrheal medication before study entry, and only one patient stayed on the drug uh, during uh, treatment with CASAD. Seven out of ten patients were actually available for our primary endpoint, and four out of seven patients met our primary endpoint of 20% reduction in uh, uh, the severity of diarrhea at with week one. We consider a success if two uh, out of ten patients uh, uh, met our primary endpoint. What was interesting was the fact that uh, the best response was actually not at week one, was actually everybody had a, a, a best response uh, in between three days to 21 days, and everybody responded with uh, a between 9% and 99% reduction in their uh, uh, frequency of bowel movement. But more interesting is that all patients had a significant reduction in their uh, uh, quality of life uh, parameters. parameters. So what that means is everybody has a significant improvement in their quality of life when me measured by uh, a validated questionnaire uh, called Medacid Thyroid Questionnaire. Uh, adverse events associated with the drug was very rare. We found 10% uh, of patients having uh, bloating, about 40% having flatulence, but no real uh, um, major adverse events or life-threatening adverse events. And also we did a uh, thyroid absorption study in one of the patients, and it seems like levothyroxine myelabsorption is not observed with the drug. So we concluded that this uh, medication, uh, natural KKSAD, may be efficacious and safe in patients with medullary thyroid cancer-related diarrhea and represents a promising strategy for further uh, prospective studies.